Hello guys, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. As you can see, we are in my new house, new setting for filming all of that jazz. Um, working on it, so if the light's a little weird, but hopefully this works for now. Um, I've also figured out my camera after having it for um, three years, and so now I think the autofocus should be a little bit better. So please do let me know in the comments below if it is looking crisp and fine and whatever else you wanna tell me. But anyway, we are gonna be jumping into a fun video today. I've had this video kind of on my brain, rumbling around in my brain for a while now, and it's not like an original idea in the sense that I'm sure other people have done it. I think I've seen it, I think I've watched those videos, but it is an Instagram made me buy it video. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Um, and instead of skincare or sunscreen, those kinds of things, which I will have plenty of those coming up, I wanted to do a little bit of a departure, but something that also I am like pretty thoroughly obsessed with, and that is clothing <laughs> um, and shoes. So if you have seen my other video I did with Viv Aya, um, you go ahead and check that out. Oops, is it here or here? I forget which side I link it, but you can check it out there. They are a brand that makes sustainable shoes. They make it from recycled plastic water bottles, um, very similar to Rothy's in a sense, but kind of like half the price. So they also have a lot more options, including um, shoes of all kinds, not just flats. And then they also have clothing, which is really cool. And some of those are gonna be what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. And they are also something that I have been seeing like all over my Instagram. I mean, you know, your phone listens to you. So all of the brands that I'm gonna be showing you guys today are brands that I just kind of see pop up in my feed all the time. And I finally bit the bullet. Usually that happens right around Black Friday. And I have them all, I've tried them all. I'm gonna be doing um, try-ons with you guys and show you what they look like my thoughts on them and did Instagram get it right or was it a fail? <laughs> so before we get going, go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you want, you can follow me over on Instagram. It's fun place. Um, hopefully I'm now in my new house. I'm not necessarily settled in and I have a very demanding new job, but I'm going to try to be getting content out more regularly here and over on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there. All right, let's go. So the first brand that I was telling you guys about is Vivaya. So I have now three pairs of their shoes and one of their sweaters, and I have loved everything. My favorites were the sneakers that I bought before. Um, I will put a picture of the ones that I have there. But now that it's a little bit colder, I don't wear sneakers as much. Um, so I wanted to get some stuff that's more kind of tailored for the winter. And the first thing that I got were these boots. These are the Gemma boots. As you can see, they are they're like ankle height, I guess. Um, and this is actually wool. So the material here is very soft, very flexible. Um, not quite like the, the same material that you get with the Rothy's, which I will show you in a second. Um, but I wanted to get these because they kind of take it up a notch. All of the Rothy's that I have, maybe except for the flats, feel very kind of like casual, can just like put them on. And that is also very much my style but I wanted to get something that I could dress up a little bit more, especially like for work parties or, you know, Christmas parties, that kind of thing. So that's what these are. I think that the silhouette is beautiful. They are flexible. I have bunions on my feet and this part is flexible, so it doesn't restrict it. It doesn't hurt. Um, and I just think that they're a pretty, like pretty classic boot style. So I've really enjoyed these. I think with a nice dress and some tights, it's like, chef's kiss and these are $159 <clears throat> I do have a coupon code which I will put below so you should be able to get money off and you get free shipping with everything so it's not an issue um, and they ship very quickly so that's another plus plus. Um, and then one other thing that I did want to mention is these I don't believe are machine washable but almost all of their other shoes are so if you're worried about that kind of thing like your feet sweat and they get stinky whatever you just throw them in the wash. Um, next up, we have this cashmere turtleneck. I know this image, or like right here, it's hard to tell, but again, I'm gonna be inserting clips of me wearing them all so you can see what it looks like. And this, first off, it smells so good because I put perfume on it the other day. And I don't wash these every day, by the way. Like you shouldn't necessarily need to wear or wash your like cashmere and your sweaters every single time. And cashmere, obviously you can't just throw in the dryer and the washer, but this is just absolutely stunning. It is kind of like a baggier fit. Um, it does have a turtleneck 
and the sleeves are kind of the like what are they called i forget they're not tight they're kind of loose around the shoulders very 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 much my favorite sweater right now i've been wearing it non-stop it is 199 dollars, which is relatively cheap for cashmere and you do get money off so i think it's a really great option and they have so many styles like actually sometimes i'm like too many i can't choose but for something that is a lot cheaper than other brands sometimes they'll only give you one if it's like you know like that kind of bargain deal but for Rivaya, they do tend to give you so many options that like you should find something that fits your style for these um and i did want to mention the rothy's you've probably seen rothy's around because rothy's have been around for a long time um my the rothy's that i have that are like somewhat similar to these gemma boots are the chelsea boots and these come in at 145 and these are 159 so you can see like you get quite a bit of shoe this is actually like I would say more substantial of a shoe and it's dressier it's also wool this one is not wool um so for almost the same price but with rothy's you hardly ever get a discount unless it's your first time so obviously vivaya does give you that through me which is cool but these are the chelsea boots and i love 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 these as well these are way more casual so i now that i work in tech it's a little bit more casual of a workplace i can wear these all the time um these i would wear to the office i would also just be like the dressiest person there <laughs> but that's not a problem but i have these in the the camel color and the black and i've been wearing them non-stop for a few years um so i will link that below as well but i'm not going to go super in depth because i have done a whole video on the chelsea boots i will link that above if you're interested in that you can check it out but this is another brand you guys if you followed me on my channel you know that i love rothy's um but i guess the point of this kind of comparison is that rothy's does not have any kind of more elevated styles if you will like no boots no heels that kind of thing so for me it's just a different like i, I go to each one for a different purpose sometimes i'll go to rothy's if i just want like a sneaker or like these very casual chelsea boots but then I know for Vivaya, I can get something that's a little bit more elevated, a little bit fancier. So big thumbs up. I don't know why I did that. Big thumbs up to both brands. Now we're going to get into a brand that doesn't get a big thumbs up. Hmm. Okay. Let me just show you. This is the box from Air. Where's the name? Can you see it? I don't know. A-Y-R. I have seen them on Instagram for uh, probably like years now. And I like, oh my God, their style, everything I want. Like I wanted everything. And I did buy um, one, two, three, four, five, six items that came to a whopping $545. Like I got them during a Black Friday sale. So I did get money off, but it was still just like an excessive amount of money to spend on six items of clothing. But I was super, super excited and I really was expecting a lot. And was I disappointed? Yes. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Okay, I've taken some of them out of their bags and some of them I, I have not. But the first thing that I was super excited for was the French fry t-shirt, which is supposed to be kind of like a loose, like um, nautical-esque, like, I don't know how to describe it, very like French um, feeling, just long sleeve shirt. And I got it in the black and white stripe. And then I also got it in like the blue, bright blue stripe. Um, when you see it on, it's interesting because it is definitely, um, hmm, I don't know, I'm tall, but I got a size large in both of them because I was like, if I get a medium, which might fit more like my body, I know the arm length is going to be too short. And even with the large, it like comes to here, like a very awkward length. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be like a baggier style, but it feels weird. I just like, I can't, I don't know if I can get behind it. Also, the French fry shirt, I'll just show you this one. This one is $75. Excuse me, $75 for this? Like you can get this at Target or Old Navy. And I'm not saying that Old Navy or Target shirts will last forever. And maybe these will last me for 10, 20 years. I don't know about 20, but I don't find that the quality exceeds something that you could get for half the price. Um, there's just nothing that wowed me. Like I wouldn't have picked it up and been like, yes, this is worth $75. I, so 
it's pretty and I love the stripes. So it's like one of my favorite styles, but I don't think it's worth $75 whatsoever. Will I keep it? Probably. But what I will not be keeping are these. I got one in white and one in gray, which I've already taken out. This was supposed to be, it's called the, what is it called? The hangout. And I thought it was like more like a sweater, like a, a light sweater, but I think it's just the French fry but in like a solid color. So basically a long sleeve t-shirt. And also on my packing list, they just put the French fry instead of the hangout. So I think they sent me the wrong thing. I'm gonna be reaching out to them later because those two are definitely going back. I don't need a $75, $60 white t-shirt like that. I mean, if you want to spend $60 on a white long sleeve t-shirt, do you? But for me, like I go through white t-shirts too quickly to be spending that kind of money. The other two, the French fry with the stripes, I probably will keep, but I'm not super happy and I wouldn't say like to rush out and go get them. Okay, so those are two of them. I'm gonna show you the last two things from the order. Okay, this right here is called the Deep End. This is obviously a button down. It's very chic. The models do a great job. They do a great job of selling it on air. And it was probably this and the French fry were like the ones that I wanted the most. And when I got this, it didn't feel like it should have cost me $125, which is what it did. And so I was definitely a little or a lot disappointed in it. I did wear it all day yesterday. That's why it's like all rolled up. Um, it's very comfortable. And I think I, you know, like I did get an oversized. That's kind of like the look that it's meant to have. So I got a large. I think I could definitely size down to a medium because it's already oversized. And that might be like a little bit more appropriate but I don't find that the quality again is worth the price tag, like $125. This doesn't feel like it should, like this feels very light. It feels like polyester-y. It's also made in China. Oh wait, this is a medium. I got a medium in this. Okay, maybe I could get a small then. I don't know. Um, overall, I was just super disappointed by the brand. The other thing that I got was, these were clearance priced jeans they're like um just like very slim fitting jeans but like a very very dark wash and they don't look like they should for a brand like this these jeans i forget how much they cost i'll put it on the screen but they feel like they are target like skinny jeans with stretch like they have a lot of stretch in them can you see that hiding my face um and they fit very nicely i feel like they are flattering on me um, they're very high waisted, which can be like not the greatest if you're sitting at a desk all day. Um, and they're so long. I mean, I'm five nine and I had to roll the bottoms. I've never had to roll the bottoms ever. So overall, I honestly, I was like, did they get these from Target? Like it was very shocking to me. Um, and I forget, let's see. These they said were made in Los Angeles and designed in New York City. I don't know. Some of the others are made in Chile. Some of the others, like the um, the button down, like I said, was made in China. I guess the overall thing that I wanted to kind of point out about this brand is that I do not find that the quality matches the prices, like I said before. And I think it's kind of just like really well done marketing and like spamming the crap out of your Instagram. But would I recommend them as a brand? No. Would I say like, maybe if you have like a hundred dollars to spend and you want to get like a fancy shirt, sure. But I think there are other brands, namely um, Everlane, that does a much better job of like good quality, like thick material. You know where it's made. It's made in like a very sustainable way. Um, this I feel like is basically fast fashion, but at a price tag that makes you think it's not. Okay. So those were the two, I guess, three main brands. I did want to mention, I got a few sweatshirts. Let me pull them out. Um, from one of my very favorite creators slash makeup brands, and that is Vive. So I got the Joie de Vive, Joie de Vive. <laughs> Can't say it in French. I got the black one and I got the gray one because I love them so much. I got the gray one in extra large and it's super oversized, which I love. And then I got the gray in a medium, which is just like a normal fit on me. But if you do want like really high quality sweatshirts, like these are thick, they're not like 
I mean, they're not so thick, but they're just like good quality um, to throw around, but also look like pretty chic and stylish. Definitely recommend those. They're not cheap. They're about $50. Um, I think that's like 38 pounds, but those are very casual. And I think I love, well, no, I don't think, I know I love them. I think it would actually look really great. I just have a pile of clothes here. Apologies. I think it would look like really great if I layered maybe this button down with this and it would take like the sophisticated kind of look of the button down, but like more casual with the sweater. Um, yeah, there's a lot I can do with all of this. So I'm not necessarily disappointed, um, except for with the air and I definitely will be returning some of it, but that's kind of my clothing haul. Um, I haven't done a lot of clothing shopping in a while, so I thought this would be fun. Um, I will be listing all of the comments, no, not the comments. <laughs> I will be listing all the discount codes that I have below. So if you are interested in any of the brands, you can, you know, you don't have to get what I got, but in general, the brands are going to be listed below and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy my new setup and I will see you guys at the end of the year for more videos on skincare, sunscreen, all of that. Bye guys. <laughs>